Hi everyone, this is Colette. I am back once again to do another video. Yes, it's the same day, face of the day, yeah, December 2nd, 2013. Anyway, hmm, I think I like my lips. Anywho, that's not what this video is about, not about my lips, okay? Well, I decided that was foot in the pain, sorry. Can you turn that down for me, please? Foot in the pain. <laughs> foot in the pain, pain in the foot. The head is messed up. Yeah, I just felt a weird... The, the foot is in a cast and I just felt pain. I don't know why. It's been acting kind of weird. But anyway. Uh, <clears throat> this video is going to be about my favorite fragrances now. Reason being, I have a lot of fragrances, you see, and um, I tend to go by how I feel. So, Why are you um, trying to fake a British accent? I'm not trying to fake a British accent, yes, eh? Are. No, I'm not. You're trying to the, 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 the oh, format. but quiet, yo. No, you, you just ruin it. You just ruin my... Go back to your American accent. Oh, leave, leave me alone. The, leave the British alone. What have the, what have the British done you? <laughs> Can you guys hear him back there? Well, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my son. <clears throat> is I do have a lot of fragrances. And I use them according to my mood. Yes. However... I have found that there are a few exceptions to the rule. These I will go for like just any time. So without further ado, I'm going to begin with the Body Shop. And the Body Shop had a sale a couple months ago. And I love the Vanilla Body Mist. Yes. I love, love, love these. You can tell that I've been using it. See? I just love these. So, I usually only buy the vanilla. However, I picked up this Brazil nut. And you can tell I've used more of the Brazil nut than I have used of the vanilla. Side by side comparison, if you will. See? I am just working this Brazil nut. It's not loud. It's not. It's just warm and, and inviting. It's nice for when you're going to bed and you just want to feel that warm and cozy feeling like, mm, yes, that's the Brazil nut. It's just warm and inviting. It doesn't bother my sinuses. I'm not like, <gasps> yeah, because I have some that does that to me. But not this and not the vanilla. But I just love, love, love the Brazil nut. I fell in love with this one. This one, I, I bought this on a whim thinking, eh, let's try it. Because I have the strawberry and I do have the vanilla, but I haven't used the strawberry yet. Okay? I decided to try this in case I like it. If I didn't like it, I plan to return it. But, oh no, I fell in love with it. Okay? <clears throat> so, that's those two. Then, my son and I went to, I think it was Ross, and I like Celine Dion, but I've never, I've, I tried one of her fragrances a while back, and that one came out with Avon, and at the time, I was an Avon representative, so I bought the thing, and it was okay, in my opinion, it was okay, I, I wasn't crazy about it, actually, I gave it away. After a few months, I was just not using it. So I gave it away. But this one is called Sensational. And I absolutely love this one. I am not very good at describing. But you know what? No, I'm better at describing scents than colors, I guess. This one has a musk... Um, it also, I think I tend to draw for those amber or um, musk undertones. 
it could be floral but it has to have a hint of musk underneath or I don't do no well with them so this one does have that note is just like really nice and I like this one so I haven't used a lot but you can tell I've been using it next one up would be this one J'adore or whatever the heck the name is I don't know how you pronounce this crap but anyway this is what it is and pick up this one when we were in New York and I love it at first I thought no it's not all that but once it settles and blends with my 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 own scent my own body body aroma ooh, it's just to die for and last but not least and this one the bottle is kind of ugly looking because I've had this one and I've been skimping on it for a minute because I have been through bottles and bottles of this and yeah I <laughs> before before I keep on rambling about it let me show you it show it to you here it is and this is Aqualina pink sugar can you tell I love this bad boy yes yes I, I'll tell you a quick story. I fell in love with this by going to Sephora and I don't remember what fragrance I was looking for but the young lady there gave my daughter a sample. I tried it at first and I thought, yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm looking for and she said, oh, it's pink sugar. I'm like, I don't know if I want some of this, you know, pink sugar. But this one, when I use it, some people say I smell like caramel, some people say I smell like cotton candy. But it's another warm scent that really plays up with your, your body odor and it just depends on who you are. On me, it smells like cotton candy some days. Some days it's like, oh, it's just, it's just very, very nice. And uh, I know they have a hair, a hair spray thingy. I've never used the hair spray. I've never tried the blue sugar from men or the chocolate sugar. I haven't tried those. I have pretty much stuck with this pink sugar for the last, I would say, I've been using this since 2009. Yeah. And by far, it is the only perfume that I own, that I've ever owned, that I repurchase again and again. The only other perfume that I've repurchased is my Estee Lauder Dazzling Silver. I used to live on that back in the day. And yeah, when I found this, that went out the door. So, and I think I only repurchased that like twice. So anyway, long story short, I fell in love with Aqualina Pink Sugar and I've been using this bad boy like over and over again. And I'm down to here. So I find myself reaching for these because I kind of want to prolong the life of it. Anyway, um, sometimes I do get it on eBay and I get a little bit, you know, cheaper. I get the full size bottle. This is actually the 3.4 flow downs. So I get this big bottle and I get it with free shipping. So yeah, but those are really my, um, my all time this one is my all-time favorite for fragrance and uh, I've been through a lot of fragrances throughout my lifetime I'm 40 something but this one by far yeah that takes the cake so those are my favorite scents for now guys um, these are my loves and uh, yeah so once again this is not an endorsed video it's um, just me sharing the things I like with you guys and what I'm really into. And those are my fragrances that I've been loving for the last several months. Yeah, this one for years, the other four for several months, okay? So, thank you for watching once again. And please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!